One of the things that I do when visiting parishes is after Mass, I stand in the back of the church to uh, greet the parishioners. And every now and then, parents will bring their children or child up to me so they can say hello to the bishop and get to meet him. And every now and then, the t child turns away and buries his or her face in his mother's coat. And we have Jesus' words today. Unless you change and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And when, to get the gospel started, when the disciples ask, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus shows them a child. We all leave childhood behind. We can't help it as we continue to grow. So what does Jesus mean? Well, first of all, a child is dependent. A child does not think that he or she can face life all by themselves. They are needy. They depend completely on those who love them and care for them. And what is the lesson for adults? We must depend upon God and not ourselves. Secondly, a child is humble. A child does not wish to be prominent, but would rather fade into the background. I think that's why some are very shy in meeting people. It is only as a child grows up and begins to be initiated into the world of competition with its pursuit of ribbons and trophies and first place that a child's instinctive humility is left behind. The lesson for adult disciples Do not seek power or attention or control, but seek Jesus first, others second, and yourself third. Third, a child is trusting. Children instinctively trust their parents they trust their superiors in school. That what these adults want is what is best for them. That their needs will be met. The lesson for adults, we need to have the same trust that God will ultimately take care of us. It should be no surprise, then, that students do well in Catholic schools. They have parents, they have principals, they have teachers who put them first, who want what is best for them. The theme for Catholic Schools Week this year communicates that Catholic schools put their students first. The theme is faith, excellence, and service. Catholic schools are above all communities of faith. They help parents place in the hearts of their daughters and sons the desire to become saints. 
excellence. Academic excellence is the hallmark of Catholic education. And we see this year after year in the studies that are done. We certainly saw this during those years which are fading into memory of COVID when we started out by learning online at home and then went back to school with masks. So many other millions of children in our country were left behind and they're struggling now. But that didn't happen in our Catholic schools. Catholic education is directed to the growth of the whole person. Yes, you have minds that can learn. Yes, you have bodies that can develop your talents and abilities. But yes, you have souls. Not just a mind and a body, but you have an eternal spark in you. You have God's, uh, God's divine life living within you. And all three, mind, body, and soul, need to be cared for. This makes Catholic education different from the other schools in the things that matter the most. And service. Service is at the heart of what it means to be a disciple to be a follower of Christ, to be a lover of God. We have the great commandment that we are to love God with all that we have and all that we are, and that we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so that's where service comes in. We serve God, but we strive to serve everybody else. Catholic schools teach their students how to serve God and neighbor and give students opportunities to learn how to do it. Two million students and teachers across the United States are celebrating Catholic Schools Week and acknowledging the blessings that Catholic education is. I thank all of you, from students to Board of Trustees members, to the Office of Catholic Schools, to all who are involved. Thank you for your participation in this great evangelizing effort of the Church. May God, who has begun a good work in each of you, bring it to completion. <laughs>